welcome back to Hermitcraft. <laughs> All right. Well, after spending entirely too much time working on the problem, I've got the solution here. Basically, this structure here. Underneath the dispenser, there is a uh, observer, and it's looking at this block right here. And when some when there's when this block changes like from dirt to grass there is a signal that comes through the block from the observer redstone will then kick it back here into the dispenser and fire it and all i need to do is have a sheep on this block and i'm going to have it penned in in a glass tube and what i'll do is i'll have 16 in there one for each color in the Minecraft rainbow. So, this way, I was originally going to have 16 of these little setups, stretching way back down that way and having to expand that and so on. And I realized that that was unnecessary. It's way too much stuff going on for just uh, 16 sheep, you know, really. It's way too much. And yes, I could easily put in several of each color and so on and have maybe a few of these and do it like that. But I'm thinking there's no point. Uh, it's not like I need that much. I think I can work right here. That should really be quite sufficient. What? Huh. Okay. All right. I'm going to need to get something headed that way anyhow. In fact, where does this go over here? <laughs> All right. That's really brilliant, but it can be part of a beginning of a tunnel system that I'm going to need anyway. So let's see if, uh, all right, hoppers, let's see, just throw a block there, hopper facing down on top of the hopper, a bit of rail, and Also going to need a minecart, which I should have had ready ahead of time, but there you go. Hopper minecart. Because as was pointed out, hoppers do not pull through a solid block. But a hopper minecart will. All right, now, actually, no, well, yeah, I'll just use a dirt block there. It'll end up getting converted. There, like that. And now, observer. Looking at that signal going this way, go ahead and uh, put a block here. Redstone dot on it. Over here we need dispenser. And that's the guts of it right there. I just fill this in. I can even go ahead and uh, fill it with dirt. And drop the redstone dot on that. That'll work. All right. And then to pen the sheep. A little number like that. That should take care of that very nicely. Then all I need to do... Uh... Yeah, of course. 
Well, how about this? And just run this around. Keep it lit. And uh, then have a temporary area up here that I can lead the sheep up onto. Well, Ugh. well, you know what I mean. Use the leash, bring the sheep up here. Make sure to have some, I'll have to get some dyes so that each sheep is dyed a different color and then run them in there and drop a water stream to run it into there. And that ought to take care of the whole thing. Make it a whole heck of a lot simpler. And then after that, and the next part that needs to be dealt with will be down here. Let's see. Oh, I need to have a dispenser. To have a dispenser down here. Let's see. Put it over. Well, let's say just put it there. And then just take some hoppers. direct the flow into the dispenser and then all I need to do let's see here it's been a while since I've built this little circuit so I know I may get it wrong to start with but what the heck Oh, beacon must have just been reactivated or something because it wasn't going before. Anyway, all right, so let's see if I remember this correctly. We've got a comparator here and block there. And let's see, I believe a dot here, another block there, a dot here, a oh, well, flatulence. All right, not a problem. Drop the dispenser. That should do it. And then the hoppers. Like so. No. The other side. The other other side. There. Uh, redstone signal coming through here is going to bugger up the hoppers. And I just destroyed that, and I didn't mean to. Blast! Oh. Okay, you see where I'm going with it. Alright, let me get the... 
hopper and the rail put back hopper mine cart pop this there like so oh all right I'll get it figured out I just have to reverse it reverse engineer it all right so there And then, like this, into that one. Then get the rail and the hopper mine cart. Yeah, great. Now I should be able to put a repeater here, dot there, and... I don't know, I may have this circuit a little bit wrong. I freely admit that I may completely have it wrong. Oh. I, I may. Let me get the repeater and we'll find out. Like I said, I haven't built this little automatic dispenser thing in a long time. But basically what happens is that the way it's supposed to work is anytime something goes in here, it automatically activates this, which runs a signal around through here. Need a repeater here because you don't want this connecting to that. And that's, that's, that's wrong. That is so totally wrong. Because it's supposed to activate the dispenser. And it's, I don't believe it's going to with redstone facing like that. Oh, crap. I'm going to have to stop and look that thing up. I thought maybe I could reproduce it. But obviously, I have totally screwed it up. So I'll be back in a moment. Okay. Yeah, I had it totally wrong. I had the right idea. Terrible implementation. And, oh, man, sometimes I hate beacons. Okay, anyway. The dispenser was right. Needs to be in subtract mode. Now we got block here. Block there. There. dot here, dot there, another one there, block there, and another one there, and I believe redstone here as well. What have I done this time? Oh. I know I... I don't know. I thought I had it right. Arc. I just looked at a video of this blasted thing. Now I have to go back and do it again. Okay, I got it. I don't know if this is exactly the thing that I had before in the previous times that I've built this in the past, but okay, dispenser with stuff in it facing that way. A uh, comparator here in subtract mode. 
block with a dot on it, another block on top of the of the thing there, block here to keep this from connecting to that, which is another dot there, block there, another comparator here, single dot there, and it comes on automatically anytime there's something in it and then it shuts off. Great. So what I can do now, you see, it, it was actually easy. It's just I made it painful. Sorry about that, but I've never been a redstone guru, and I think it's obvious I never will be. But, yeah, this is how we learn. So basically what I'll have here is... Well, what I'll end up doing is putting ice down here and right there I'll end up breaking that one so it'll turn into a water stream. And I'll take this tunnel and can I, you remember a while back I built that uh, shaft that uh, I could drop stuff into and it would end up in the sorting system. Well, what I need to do now is take that tunnel down there and drag it over this way and down this way and have it open up onto this shaft so that the stuff that comes out of there automatically gets dropped into that shaft which will take it down to the sorting system, which then I will get to expand by 16 slices so that there is a slice for each color of wool. So I'm going to take some time and uh, get doing that, and I will be back when I have some progress. Okay, I think I got it set up now. Got ice pathways all the way through here. Now what I'm going to end up doing is, like for example here, have a slab here break that ice we've got a water stream oh for crying out loud that was wrong the slab needs to be a top slab now I can put just go ahead and dump water there and actually no not there not there. Okay. I I'm getting it right. Don't worry, I am. Uh, I need to back up down here to the end. I was going to originally have this end over there, but it didn't work out, so I just moved it, and I didn't bother cleaning up my mess. Erg! No! Okay. That was really special. Okay. Water goes eight blocks, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And here, top slab. All right, like that. Alright, this should work. Back it up a block because the chef is apparently not counting correctly today. Perfect. Alright, and that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, including the source block. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then go one more, put that, drop a source block, break it, bingo. And then just more of the same. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Drop one more here, source block, break it. And then just keep going. 
five, six, seven, eight, one more. Perfect. This is finally turning into what I need. Or here. And that I can break and go like that. Sure, why not? And now anything kicked out of the dispenser will end up in this water stream. It'll flow under the top slabs and it'll go really fast because it's on ice. And it will end up down here, where it gets dropped into that pit, which lands down below on a hopper that feeds stuff into the sorting system. How about that? I actually got something working. And it wasn't super duper uber painful. Okay, it was painful, but what the heck. The important part is, I figured it out. And I only needed two breaks to look at video. <laughs> yeah, okay. Now, now that that's done, and really that pretty much is the hard part. All I need to do is get 16 sheep dyed different colors and use a water stream up here to drop them into that slot and everything is peachy and i think what i'm going to end up doing is i'm going to do that part wrangling the sheep and whatnot i'm going to do that off camera because that's a pain in the everything and uh yeah so all i need to do now is uh well, let's see. A next step would be have a hopper feeding there. Let's say another one feeding there. And we're, we're, I got chests. Good. Okay. And then fill that with shears. So that it will auto feed shears in there. And just do its thing. Sheep will come down here, they'll eat the grass, that will cause this to update and trip the dispense, the dispenser, which once 114 uh, releases, because we're not on 114 yet, you see they're here, we're 113.2 just yet. Soon, I know, but not yet. And, uh... there that looks better but uh, once it does drop the dispenser with shears in it will shear the sheep and that's going to be cool okay yeah so now i can tear all of this out and uh, start wrangling sheep up here and obtain some dyes and make sure that they're all dyed the necessary colors and this will end up being a once i get all this cobblestone scaffolding off of here and whatnot it'll end up being a nice fully automatic little system with 16 sheep in that block space and i know the limit is 24 but i don't need 24 I, you know 16 will do one of each color and this thing will just run constantly automatically and eventually if things go on long enough and the area stays loaded enough, I could eventually end up with stupid amounts of each color of sheep wool. Sheep wool. As if there were any other kind. Oh, really? Oh, my God, I can't believe I said that. <laughs> you ever have a day like that where you say something like that and it's just like, what in the world was I thinking? Or was I thinking? Yeah. Yeah. Good question. I don't have an answer right now. So, right now, I'm just going to drop a bunch of this extra stuff down into the shaft for sorting. And, yeah. 
I will work on uh, getting the sheep dyed and wrangled. I'll do that off camera. And when I come back, this little mess, you know, next time, next episode, this little mess will be gone. The system will be looking nice and decent, and it will occupy less than a quarter of the space that was originally set out for a sheep farm. And it will be a heck of a lot more efficient and 100% automatic. All I have to do is feed its shears every now and then. I think that's pretty good. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I am out of here.